Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. It is a windy day out on the front range, but the show must go on. So Justin and I, if you saw this video here, him and a guy, Derek, shot at this ballistic glass with a 338 Lapua and armor piercing rounds. Now this first little sphincter you see here, this was the ball round for the 338. The AP round actually did go through, but check out this video here. They actually shot at the same time it was amazing. We didn't even know they shot at the same time. The timing was so perfect and they did that on another piece of glass. Well, anyways, we were gonna throw this one away and we said, hey, you know what would be a pretty good test is let's see how well ballistic glass, this is out of a Humvee, so it's about two and a half inches thick or so, still protects. So the first one we're gonna shoot is a hand cannon here. We got the 45 Colt. Justin's gonna shoot around where it was really compromised by the 338 ball round. Then we're gonna step it up to the M1 Grand here. We're gonna shoot three rounds, just three random rounds. And then we're gonna pepper it with the M16 clone here and see if they'll go through. I think it's still gonna stop all of them. Comment below and let me know what you guys think is gonna happen. All right, so don't forget we are on Utreon, Patreon, and Rumble, so please check out those other platforms. Subscribe there after you hit that subscribe button and the like button on this one. That's enough yakking, man, let's get shooting. All right, so first round up is gonna be 45 Colt out of this Super Red Hawk. It's actually a 454 Casul. I couldn't afford that, but I do have 45 Colt. And it is 45 Colt, not Long Colt. Argue with me on why. Please. Ready? All right. The scope is hard to. Man, we had a couple misfires. I know you said two, but uh, I just filled the cylinder. All right, let's check out where he shot. I see three shots right here. I believe he shot four, so one might have gone into the sphincter, but um, nothing went through if you come back here. We know that because, well, one, my camera that I have set up back here is still good. And again, there's like a Lexan or plexiglass, something that's on the back that keeps this from um, being sharp and cutting your hands and stuff. So you can see nothing, nothing at all. All right, so next we're gonna hit the big boy. We're gonna hit the uh, M1 Grand in 30-06. I don't even know, I'm, I'm not even gonna count the rounds cause I don't know what Justin's gonna do. So here we go. All right, now we're on to my favorite World War II rifle, the M1 Grand in 30-06. And uh, I'm gonna aim directly for that camera that's behind the glass. So if it goes through, Chris is gonna be down a camera. Not my problem. Oh, can't wait for that ping. You good? Ow! Piece hit me in the forehead. Oh, that's a beautiful sound, I love it. Ow! Piece hit me in the forehead.
Did I hit your phone? No. It's still there? Yeah, a piece of glass hit me right in the forehead. I'm glad I'm wearing my eye pro. I gotta tell you, I was a little scared for my camera because I seen this piece of plexiglass fly up here. But I don't think it came through. So check this out here. This is pretty cool. So we believe this, I think, was the first shot. So check out how it coned out. Here's a piece of glass. And that fits right there perfectly. So pretty cool. Then I believe it was second, third shot. Now if you come around here, now maybe if there was a fourth shot, I think it might have come through, but again, this is only a little split here. I don't want to hit that. It's windy and that's actually crushed glass. So um, I think it still stopped all three. And the reason I think that is because this thing fits right here and there's no hole here. It's just, it's smacked, it has a dent, but I think it just pushed it off, missed my camera by just a smidge. So now we're gonna hit it with 20, two, two, three rounds. Let's see if my phone survives. Here we go. My forehead's fine, thanks for asking. Oh yeah, well, quit your crying, just get behind the gun. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do 20 rounds of this uh, M16 here. Only 20 because that's safe, safer. Ready? Ready. You know what? That's a little too slow for me. Much better. That looks like a mess, Justin, but my phone's still standing. Holy cow. Let's check out the front here first. Um, not sure which ones they are. I know this one here, I think he hit, which is in the compromised area on the back. It still stopped. It probably wouldn't have stopped a 30 out six again, but it stopped the 223. Peppered it all over the place. Only had one, I think, that missed, Justin, so. But you know, when you're on full giggle, sometimes you just can't control yourself. Check out the back here. Again, this was the 338 armor piercing round from uh, a video just a couple videos ago. So make sure you go check that one out. But nothing. Again, he had some, uh, he had a round or two hit in this area here and it still stopped it. This crushed glass still just kind of crumbles down and stays there, but. Uh, that is pretty amazing, man. I am. I'm impressed. Phone's okay. Yep, phone's okay. All these cracks on it were, um, well, from me. There you go, folks. Already compromised Humvee ballistic glass can still stop a lot of rounds. Again, I think if Justin hit here with the 30 out six, 
uh, it would go through, but even full auto 223, it stopped that. So that's pretty impressive. Well, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get to 200,000. We could use your help. But we thank you all so much, our patrons, everybody, for sticking around with us. And we'll be back.